All right, that's a pretty good start. All right, we're playing MP. Hey, we're playing another MP. 22489. We are the OG MP number one. Uh, we'll go first, 100%. Another one lander. We're going to mulligan it. If it was a mountain, I'd probably consider it. Oh, this one we keep. We want to keep... Nah, I don't want to land. Land on the bottom. Opponents gives me the old GL HF. Thanks, you two. Exclamation mark. Opponent is on black one drops. That card's not uh, not great for us. That's fine. Play a field creeper. But do I have another Viachino on my sideboard? So there's no reason to be playing that if I have another Viachino, right? No, I didn't take it. I remember I passed one, so maybe I should have just taken it because. Yeah. Cavalry Master. Alright, you're gonna get me for two. I'll allow it. That's fine. We won't block, we'll offer a trade with the Field Creeper. Draw a bog up brute. Life is good. No blocks. Alright. All right, all right. Hey, Boggy. Hey, Boggy Brute. Put it. Misses on, oh, plays their land, my bad. Tax for two, we take that. We're racing here, an opponent has life gain. So this is gonna be an interesting one. We are gonna play a 7-3 Trample very shortly. Ugh. 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 Bubble horse. We don't like bubble horse. Alright, now we need a white source. But guess who's getting shuffled into our deck next turn? Uh, we could attack with both here and offer a trade. I just block there. We should attack with the bog up brute. If they want to. If they want to give me shield mirror for that, I'm fine with that. Should have attacked first. Yeah, opponent doesn't bite anyway. Is this spell or ability? Or spell or ability. Jeez, okay, so we're not tapping it. That's for sure. Well, that's seven points of toughness in the way, so either opponent takes some damage or they get three for one. Ooh, they're just getting aggressive here. Four damage. They could have inspire charge, which makes it eight damage. Sure. If they don't play a creature here, we can spit flame the neonate attack for 12. Or well, they just play a creature. That works too. Okay, they're probably just going to let me a token then. I'll have to draw a white source right here. That's also fine. Alright, let's attack with these two. We're probably going to start, we're going to bring a block with a field creeper next turn. We'll see what the blocks have. If they like double block on that. Um, I think we throw the sure strike out here just to kill both of them and keep our guy alive. That seems fine. Yeah, we'll do anything else. Take seven. Go get shuffled into my library. We take six on the swing back, but we're blocking. Just probably just blocking the two two. Alright, but I'm pretty I'm, I'm gonna put opponent on inspired charge here. Just because they're getting super aggressive. We're on eight. Ugh, okay. Opponents make up more tokens than me. That's disappointing. Do we have to hold back the brute? Yeah, we do. 
I can't block the mayor with it, but I can block everything else for tradesies. Yeah, I think I think we're probably dead here. I can block one, kill one, but really, what am I drawing? I don't have mass removal or anything. If I attack with the here, I suppose if I attack, if they take it, they're down to eight and I lose. If they don't take, if they double block, we kill them both with spit flame. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just pass. So I don't I don't know what I'm drawing. I'm not I think I'm drawing any live cards, but we'll see what happens. Let's see what they've got. If they've got the inspired charge, at least we get to see it. Called it. This guy knows what he's looking at. There we did. Alright. So I could have got a little better if we'd found out White Source, you know, might have been a better game for us. Plus just drawing like any of our token creators as blockers and stuff. Um, I think Destroy Target Tactic comes into play here because they're going to be attacking a lot more than our last opponent was. Active Treason isn't going to do anything against their weenie decks. Uh, Crash Through may be a card that we want to look at since they've got a lot of X2s. Just, let's just try that. Like Crash, Crash Race seems like a fine card when I've got a bunch of 3Xs and they've got a bunch of X2s. It's going to help us push damage through. We're going to get a card out of it. replaces itself. It's definitely not a good card, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll play first. This is fine. This is more lands than I want, but I don't want to go back to having no lands like we had before. Opponent goes to 6. And it keeps six and bottoms their card. Cool, cool. It doesn't have a one drop this time. That's good, that's good. Spit flame again to help us if we draw something that's worth killing. They draw something that's worth killing. The good news here, like if if we go yeah, I've got a card cast. Child of the night, what a pain in the ass. Like if we, if we draw if we do draw into lands and nothing, at least we'll be able to get in for three with the sentinel. Okay, there's the crash through, so we'll be able to see how good it is, and we can keep in mind that, that would have been a one-one give something cased if it wasn't a crash through, which actually may have been better. I, maybe we sideboarded wrong there. I don't know. Obviously, it's going to be a while before we see what kind of position we could have put ourselves in. Pony's going to get a bunch of life here. Going to go out at twenty-four. Let me get it back down to 21. Yeah. You got me. And it's pretty likely we're just going to play the Sentinel here. Um, Parabenser doesn't interest me that much at the moment. It's a sorcery, damn. Would love a land next turn. Let's see what our opponent does. Opponent is missing land, which is relevant. We've got a 3 4. Yucky. Land to be great here. Or field creeper. That costs three, doesn't it? Alright, we're gonna skip an attack here so we can play out our board. So play out our hand. Uh, yep. Ping. I'd love to stay up to a position where Trumpet Blast wins for us here. Next turn we can go like if, if they get their land, they get in for two damage. It's fine. We can spit flame the bookcase if we really want it out of our way. Can spit flame crash through. Depends what they do. Their choices are they can either make something come block or they can play a Pegasus Corsa. That's an option too. Ooh, 
What do you got? Hellion. Alright, we'll play Hellion. I like Hellion. Um, no attacks. No attacks yet. So we've got three, four, five. We have three, I oh know we need to pay for that. So three, five, seven, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 power available to us with trample. They've got more than two toughness. But we'd wipe out their board, right? Nothing would survive. We'll play instigator. Right, let's just keep building up our board here. The goal the goal will be to win this game by going crash through trumpet blast. My opponent missing on land helps that. That's another six power calculation. That probably just I mean unless they have like exactly murder. Or they could have um, their own blast to add an extra four points of toughness to their thing. We'll tap out for something. Okay, let's do some math here. 1, 2, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 is their number of toughness. I'd like it if you attacked, but I guess not. So 13 versus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 28, what does that have? 28, 1, 2, 28. Do some math here. 1, 2, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Minus 13 is 15. So we get them pretty much dead, right? They have to block with everything. If they block with everything and live... Yeah, they block with everything to live, lose all their creatures. They do gain two life, so they're going to end up at... If they block with everything, they're going to end up at like 17 life. Wait. They're going to end up... 28 minus 11, which is... They're going to take 17 life. 15. And they're going to take 13 life. And they can't kill me next turn. And then after that, we can just start attacking with the Gargoyle Sentinel if they survive. So, yeah. I think, I think this attacking here is right. That's two damage. That's three damage. That's four damage. It's three damage. So one, two, three. Plus ten, plus four. 17. Nope. Just making sure we don't have any auto passes on here. Okay. Okay. You really want to put your bookcase in front of a Trump, in front of a 1 1, to be honest with you there, mate. Okay. So this way you're taking one from the blocked creatures. Two, three, four, seven, plus nine. This way you're taking 16. Surprise. Oh my God, did they know I had it? Next turn I can spit flame the 
They got a one. Okay, I miscalculated that. It took 18. I don't know. I can't math properly. Oh, I just did something. Yeah. There we go. Uh, oh, I put up all the codes for the Twitch site. That's fun. So they're going to they're gonna gain four life next turn. We're going to kill that, and we're going to win. So they can spend their mana equipping the Child of the Night. Gain four, go to five. We untap, we take Vengeance and Spit Flame. Unless they've got a five power creature. Yep. You got me. You totally got me when I didn't see that coming. Plus 11, plus 11. Shit. Child of Night. Oh, I have a crying baby. Do I win? Actually, if I just spit flame one of them, activate one, two, three, I've got six lands, so I spit flame this, activate this, attack for win. Yeah, cool. So spit flame one, two, three. Opponent might just see the line here. Alright, I put this to 1-1 one, one with this guy. Yep, cool. Um, that worked out a bit better for us. I think the pretty common line with this deck is just going to be... I give up on doing the math attack with everything. <laughs> Blow my trumpet. Okay, we're back on the draw. Uh, we did see that artifact. I don't know if it's worth playing Evoke the Divine to deal with that. I don't think so. We've got enough removal. We've got the Electrify, the Spit Flame, the Take Vengeance. Hell, even the Shore Strike deals with it. Or the creature, anyway. Um, we haven't seen flies. Maybe I do just want random rustle. No, I don't know where to buff it up, do we? No, I think it's fine. Let's go for it. Alright, we'll be on the draw. Come on, good hand. Don't be mulling it every... Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, this hand could be perfect if we just draw nothing but gas. Which, I mean, that's, that's kind of an overarching statement for every deck ever, but... We're on the draw. We, we get a free mulligan, basically, with, with Scry Rule. Opponent kept their seven. Like, it, we could mulligan into so much worse. We could mulligan into no lands. But it could be so much better as well. I think we got a key. I think I'm going to take the risk here and keep it. The chance of me drawing lands is lessened. We've got a bunch of two, three drops that we can draw off the top of our library and just start powering out. We draw land. Okay, that'll be the last thing we draw this game. Playing plays a two drop. Yeah, Child of the Night. No, it's just a bookcase. Alright, we draw of Take Vengeance, which will do something later this game. We get the first blood in, doing two damage. We may just crash through to draw a card if it gets back. Okay, no, cool. Alright, we don't get any. I mean, we could bluff an attack, right? They know we've got Shore Strike, they know we've got Trumpet Blast, maybe they don't block. No. Worth a shot. Can't blame a guy for trying, right? Bubble Horse. That's an annoying card. Electrify. If we electrify the shield mare, they get to gain three life, but then we hit them for two, so that's fine. Yeah, I prefer just to get that off the board right now.
suppose get 22. Okay, currently our opponent to stop doing stuff. Pegasus Corsair. It's a pretty solid card. Uh, we've got a bog art brute, which is nice. Let's find no attacks this turn. Love to get a spy charge here. I think spy charge would be the best draw. While they're developing here. There's the cavalry. Okay, maybe not so much anymore. You know, who, the question is, who can go wider? You can ping him for one. Nope. Hey. Snap. No. Next turn we can start attacking with the bog up brute in the air. Which is not nothing. Oops, that's the wrong button. Just opened Photoshop, so something weird's gotta come up very shortly. Opponent has no attack. Oh, opponent getting aggressive here. We're gonna take four. They don't tap, so. We could have blocked the pyrobants are, but that's fine. Do we see Mighty Leap at all? Oh. Okay, that's getting worrying. Next time we have to start blocking. Because we're like dead to plus two, plus one. Alright, let's... I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay to start attacking here. I don't know if we're winning this game, especially like if they have it, we're not winning this game, I think. But we'll go we'll get in for four we'll attempt to get in for four here. They'll probably just block the one three on the one three. Go to nineteen. I'll probably just aggressively block here. Oh really? Okay. That's fair I guess. No, that's what I expected. What am I talking about? I thought they Drawing lots of land here is could be our downfall. Right, we'll send the tokens to the graveyard. Because I don't want to have recursion shenanigans here. 12. I'm just going to block aggressively. I mean, they, they may not have it, but I can't afford to think they're bluffing. I need something good, though. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay, we're dead. <laughs> Drawing the seventh land does not help us. The fact that all opponents' creatures don't tap to attack doesn't help us. Take Vengeance becomes a lot weaker than drawing our eighth land. Even worse. Maybe keeping the set the five lander was wrong. If they have if they have the let's see, they can just slam it. There's no there's nothing I can do around it. I don't have instant speed two damage to everything. Hiremancer's cage, alright, maybe they didn't have it. There goes my Pegasus Corsair. Block of cavalry here. We're a knight. Ugh. Ugh. Take a ton. Yeah, we start. Oh, I mean, that would have been nice a thousand turns ago. We'll play it out. I mean, if they don't have it, we can... We take four, then we take two. If we if they don't have it, and we can draw... Like, one more good creature here. I 
think I have been out MP'd by the other MP. Yep, get in for four. Go to three. Child of the night. Child of the night. Mountain. Yeah, we're dead. All right, we're sitting at one way, one one. Let's give our opponent the GGs. That one sucked. I mean, if we if we curved out a bit better there, we could have done something nice. Maybe a bit be able to play a bit more, a bit less defensively. But hey, sometimes you draw ten lands and you sixteen land deck. Sometimes you don't.